So the final topic that we have is what I have now dubbed podcast playthrough, where we play through a game live on the podcast. I say live, it's just recorded improv, basically. Um, obviously, even in the video form of this on YouTube, you're not going to see any actual gameplay. So we try to pick games that you don't need to know anything or see anything. So right. what are we playing this time, Eric? Uh, what uh, This is called the... Uh... Cracked a case. The mic wants to hear you. This is called Cracked a Case. <laughs> All right, so tell us how it's played. Oh, really? Okay. So anyway, uh, so you have a moderator and you have other players. Uh, the moderator is going to read out a scenario, a case, and they're going to refer to this <laughs> mystery that the other players are trying to figure out. Those players are going to ask a yes and no questions um, to the moderator they have different responses that they can give to those questions. Um, being yes, no, yes and no, irrelevant, or I don't know, <clears throat> rephrase your question, or define what you mean by whatever. Sales, sales, one more time so I can write them out. So sure. when it's my turn, I don't have to ask. It's going to be yes <clears throat> yep. and no. Yep. Yes and no. I'm not sure on where you might use that. But so maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, irrelevant, you know, to maybe get you off a, a certain path. I don't know. Rephrase your question or define what you mean by. So anyway, uh, there is a card. There's three different uh, uh, levels, hardness levels to it. But uh, the moderator will, uh, will read the back of the card, which tells the whole story. And will also let them know what uh, the other players are trying to figure out by asking those questions. Okay. So, here we go. We'll start the first one. You ready? And there's three different colors of cards. There is. There's a, a, I think there's blue, which is easy, purple, which is kind of medium, and then green that is harder. And we're doing the and blue? Yes, we're going to start off with blue, which is the easier ones. Um, how this also works is you get a certain <coughs> amount of points, or you, know, you're, you might be a, a lead investigator, or a, what is it? Lead investigator something else or a flat foot depending on you know what what kind of time period that you're able to uh figure out what you're supposed to figure out it's like a tier system so the faster you solve it the better reward better, better uh, title you get and title right uh you also have uh I, I think it's depending on the scenario or the card uh, there's a couple clues that if you if you do get stumped you can ask for a clue it does penalize you um in minutes you, you know the first clue might penalize you a minute uh, a subsequent clue will penalize you a little bit more but cool. it'll be a better clue all right all right cool we are we ready for this basically i believe the game is played in teams but we're not really going to do it that way on the podcast right is <clears throat> yeah i'm not sure exactly on how it's played uh well i know how it's played but uh it's usually moderator uh versus it's not really versus even kind of doing it together but the moderator doesn't get points i believe the the players that are trying yeah. to yeah, get the so. get the points. All right, Eric. Eric's gonna read us off the first. Have you already read the story to yourself? Yes. All right, cool. Are you reading the first blue card? Uh, it's not the first <clears throat> in the series here. It is a blue card. Okay, so Eric had this game at one point. Yeah. <laughs> and we we thought we were gonna have it on the podcast. Something happened to it. So instead, what I did was got it on Tabletop Simulator, and got the files for all the cards. And then maybe we can acquire this game later. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, we have JPEGs of all the cards. So um, basically, I think the way we're going to do it is you could just pick a card. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to really be like in sequential order. Right. Okay, cool. Does that make sense, Matt? Mm -hmm. I think each card has its own icon. So you can quickly zoom in on the JPEG and see that icon. Right. And then when you go to the back image, you can uh, quickly zoom in on that one. So. Should be pretty cool. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Here All we right. go, Matt. Here we go. So this is this one is called the Lead Anniversary. Guns. So, it has guns. <laughs> so the case. Elaine was happy. Today was her wedding anniversary. To celebrate, she and her husband, Bobby, went for a long ride in the country, followed uh, by a picnic on a secluded riverbank. Sometime during the meal, Elaine returned to the car, retrieved Bobby's revolver from the glove compartment, and fired four slugs into her 
startled husband. This is a family game? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was a family game. Uh, it is from 1990, 1993. It's Milton Bradley, ain't it? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Right. Sorry. All right. All right. So got four. Got to go, go back a little bit. Sorry. Right. Well, she returned to the car, retrieves Bobby's revolver from the glove compartment, and fired four slugs into her startled husband. The mystery is what made Aline kill her husband? And the time starts now. I feel like, all right, so when I looked this game up, it had actually really bad reviews. It's like a 5.9. So we have to figure out why she <laughs> shot him. Yes. I feel like this is one of those games where it's like. It's very open-ended. <clears throat> and you have to ask a lot of different questions to kind of. Oh, that's right. Because on the back side of the card, you have all the story. Yes, like I from have both parties' the, the views, whole story. kind of stuff. Right. I have the whole story, and I I know what you guys are trying to figure out. You have to an ask questions to kind of figure out why she. Like killed we're him. an investigator. Correct. All right. So was he cheating on you? Yeah. That's, or on her? Is adult adultery part of this? Uh, yes. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh. Was something of the woman's in the picnic food or basket? I don't know if you said they had a or car or not. No, it may, wouldn't make any sense to should we go back to the car. Was evidence found in the glove box? No. No, I would think she found it at the riverbank with him. And that made her go back to the car. Like she was already, she was going to kill him already when she was going back to the car. Gotcha. I, mean, why, I, I guess why, you and I are talking this out. Because why there. else was she went back to the car? She didn't just go back to the car on a random whim. Oh, no. She went back to get the gun. Right. So that's what I'm saying. She must have found it on the riverbank, the reason, or known before they even went on the picnic. I was going to say that's a pretty impulse thing was to do. Was it her gun? Uh, irrelevant. Okay. I was going to say she could have put the gun in there. He, he might not even own a gun. That's it, fair. Unless you did say it was his gun. <clears throat> was it the place that the, that the husband took the mistress? I don't know. Let's see. We didn't have cell phones yet, so he didn't get a text or a phone call. Um, huh. Was uh something of the mistresses found in the car? No. Wait a minute. The reason why she didn't we already? It wasn't because he cheated on her. There's more Do we have it? to like give an official guess, or if we just guess it, you win? Well, right, if you get the information by getting uh, asking the questions, like, did, did, is the actual answer she killed him because he cheated on her? No. Okay. I mean, that's part kind of, of part it. of it. Okay. So, what was the actual question again? Can you see that? Can you read that? <laughs> I'm on a, uh, why did she kill him? Okay. Why did she? She found out that they were related. No. <laughs> and he hid it from her. <laughs> it, it's not Kentucky then. She... I guess we're asking questions. Um, right. Just keep on rattling off. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Because, I mean, really, we just keep rattling it off until we get answers. Was there an insu a life insurance policy on her? No. That it, she didn't know about? No. Was she... Did the... the oh, man. Maybe I should have went first, guys. I know how to. What you read yeah, the story? No, no I'm, I'm not in on this one. But Go was ahead. it was it a family member? Uh, was it her yes sister? No. Was it her sister? Yes. Whoa, he cheated on her with her, her sister. Her sister. So her sister's kids were really related no, to her. Irrelevant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so she killed him because he was cheating on her with her sister. Yes. Is that the full thing? Is that thing? the answer? No. I mean, there's more there, there's to more it. There's more to that. Right. There's more to it. And we're supposed to get more to that from... And he was in love with her. Irrelevant. Mm -hmm. And he was going to marry her. No. Or irrele irrelevant. Irrelevant. Gotcha. I can see why this is like... <laughs> The story is like, bye, hey, what's up? Because it's like we kind of we we. I feel like you we guys, got the answer. Screw it. What's, well, what's clue number one? Clue number one. Raise our yeah, hands. Clue, yeah. yeah. Sure. Right. Elaine smelled a rat. <laughs> sure. Good. What smelled a rat? Yes. 
Somebody. Someone told her. Oh, no, what? wait a minute. Alan... Smelled a rat. Smelled... Like... Cost you one minute. Oh, okay. I got it. Check this out. She killed him because he cheated on her and he poisoned the food to try to kill her. And she figured it out and killed him before no. she ate the food. <laughs> no. Oh. That was actually really good. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were on to something. Oh, never mind. <laughs> How long we've had? Five minutes? Or did yes. you add it? No, that's five minutes. You got a penalty of one minute. All right, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll like call it a five or six minutes so we don't have to All spend right. so much time on each one. Uh, you, we'll, you want another one? We'll instant get the second clue at, at this time. Okay. The blanket uh, couldn't quite cover up Bobby's activities. He had an STD? No. Oh. <laughs> or a blanket? Could... Unknown. <laughs> Unknown. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't cover up his activities? So he had... Stains on the yeah, blanket? There was no. He no. was covering something up in the car. He no. killed, he already killed the sister. No. Oh, that was a good one because it could have had blood stains. Well, I was thinking maybe he tried covering her up. I, I don't know. All right, I'm, I can her, see her feet were hanging out. What's you concede? Or we done with? Oh, this? do it concede? Oh. Yeah, sure. Just so it's right. been so long on each one. Sure. Uh, well, uh, she smelt her per, uh, her sister's perfume on that blanket, and that's why he knew that uh, you know. That's the blanket that he goes out and does these romantic getaways. And she smelt her perfume on his blanket that he's bringing out. And that's why she so knew to, he was we, cheating, got her gun, and shot him. So you could, had to figure out She couldn't have how, just used the blanket like one day when she was cold and had <laughs> well, her perfume. She could have been wrong, but this is why. <laughs> yeah, that's like a super, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> How about catch them both in the act and take them out at the same time that we know for sure that you're not going to jail? No. Yeah, that, that was she, evidence she enough needs, for her. She needs to go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's probably going to jail regardless. <laughs> All right. But. Yeah, we're, we're definitely sticking with these blue ones. Just saying. All right. Tim, <clears throat> Tim you got one. The blue yeah. is the easiest one? The blue is the easiest uh, one. All right, okay. y'all talk for a second. Let me read this story to one of these and then uh, and then we'll uh, we'll continue. Did you so, say you used to used to play this in the car? Uh, we've played a few of these in the car. Yes, it, it's actually pretty nice because the you know the driver can participate. In, you, I don't have to look at anything, but you know you, you participate by asking questions and trying to figure out something. What's the chances Tim picks one you've already done? Um, <laughs> there is quite a few on here, and I, I really did it like two years ago, so there might be a chance I don't remember it. But he probably has a. You know, one in 20 or something. Have you read the one about the artist? No, I don't remember anything about artists. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just reading the story here. Uh, talk one second more. Okay. Anyway, how many times have you played this? Uh, I probably played it only like uh, two times or maybe three times. Three scenarios. With, with, the, uh, with the idea that I'm not paying attention to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually, I, I had a, you know, I, I always had a pretty good time with it. I, we just don't do a lot of car rides lately or, you know, so we haven't, you know, busted it out on um, some of these trips that we've done. A lot of times I've also forgot because I got this game originally <laughs> to, <laughs> to uh, play the trips. This is, okay. Okay, yeah. I can see why this game, like, the idea of this game is really cool. Yeah. The implementation is kind of weak. Because, like, when I read this story to you in the end, like, <laughs> it is vastly more involved oh, than, yeah, the, yeah. than the three yeah. sentences that you're going to get. Here, exactly. let's, let's go ahead and read this. All right. All right. You ready? <laughs> oh. oh. Let me stop this. You can start it after I finish reading it, right? Yes. It's called and Show Off. Show Off, okay. So here's the case. Despite the fact that his wife, Ruby, has been missing for two weeks, abstract artist Hugh Brown is hosting an art show in his studio. Suddenly, <laughs> bananas. Suddenly, a police officer enters the studio, conducts a brief, brief investigation, and places Hugh under arrest for Ruby's murder. The mystery. On what evidence was Hugh arrested for? Um... Oh, what, what, what evidence was Hugh arrested for polishing Ruby off? 
Mm-hmm. That might be a clue right there on the polish. D- uh, but they cut the it in half and put it on two sentences. So I was like, oh. what? What word is that? All right. I'll start the time. <coughs> so uh, did the police officer see anything on um, the suspect, the guy? Ooh, uh, there should be quicker responses, hey, Tim. Uh, look, you had like three <laughs> hours to read this first one quest. <laughs> All right. Um. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the time and reset it. All right, let me and finish so, reading so the you're story. Ready. Yeah, you so all you think should, about it and talk to should, each other. You should uh, finish reading the story on the back, and then there is also uh, another uh, section on the right side yeah. that says the solution. Right, and that will tell you exactly what um, you are trying or what the other players are trying to figure out by asking the questions. So, okay, so what was your question again? All right, so we'll start the time again. And I asked, um, the, did the police officer see anything on the suspect, the guy that would uh, involve him in the murder? <clears throat> no. Um, did he question the people that were there for the art show? Uh, or get any, get any uh, intel or evidence, leads? Just to clarify, I think he was doing this for an upcoming art show, so it hasn't happened. Oh, there wasn't people there yet? No. So it says, um, blah, 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 blah. He's hosting an art show in his studio. Well, it's, despite the fact that his wife has been missing for two weeks... The artist is hosting an art show in his studio. Suddenly, police enter. Mm-hmm. So he's hosting one. Uh, I mean, you might get more of that story. No, I could see where it's saying that it it could have been a future thing, too. Um, okay, so did anyone report his wife missing? Yes. Was it him? Hugh? Yeah, did he report her? No. Yeah, so someone else did. <clears throat> uh, did a family member report? Her missing? No. Did a um, co-worker? No. Did one of his colleagues? No. Uh, did anybody he know report her missing? Maybe. We're going to consider yeah. that yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Um, hmm. Maybe was her vehicle outside the building for a while? Is who... Re- is who reported her missing relevant? Um, no. Actually, yes. Let's say yes. Okay. So it is relevant. Let's say maybe. Let's say maybe. Maybe. It's not a family member. Uh, it's not a coworker. It's not, not probably no one he really knew. <clears throat> Does she know the person that reported her missing? Yes. Hmm. The, um, hmm. And it was not a family member? No. Hmm. Or not defined, but no. Okay. Uh, was it someone that worked at um, uh, the art show gallery? No. Hmm. Well, was it a friend? Yeah. Hmm. Was this friend um, at the murder? No. Wit- witness or know about the murder? Say it one more time. Did they uh, know about the murder? Or they did sh- that person know who killed her? No. <clears throat> hmm. You're doing a good job, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does any of his clothing matter? No. Uh did the crime scene was the crime scene at his at the house? Um. Or do you mean where he's hosting the art thing, or or the crime scene was a crime scene? Yes. At, yeah. <clears throat> so the the studio is the crime scene. Yes. Did he use her blood to paint? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. 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 Wow. <laughs> yes. There must have been splatter on yes. part of the paintings or something. 
No. Yes. No? No. Uh, was... To listen to what you <laughs> hear this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> was, uh... Was she bludgeoned? No. Was she shot? No. Stabbed? Yes. It was, you would get it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. Strangled. <laughs> So she was stabbed. Waterboard. Someone said she was missing. Cops went over there to ask him questions. And he sounds like he either confessed or... Did he forget to clean the knife? Did he have... Surely not. Uh, Did they find the weapon? Oh, yeah, I guess that's... It's about... just to say... It doesn't say... Uh... You're also going to say irrelevant if it's not... Yeah, irrelevant. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you the first clue okay. in essence of time. Hugh was handy with his sculpting tools. <clears throat> hmm. He was handy with his sculpting tools. So he used a knife to kill her. And then it must be in a statue or something. Was her body found? She is the statue. Kinda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> was yeah, was he, he part of the artwork? He or that or he oh, put like uh what is it, clay all around her and encased her. I'm gonna start using kinda. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. 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 Yes and no. Um so was she part of the the art show? Yes. <laughs> um did he have So what exactly are him? we trying to figure what out? What are we trying to figure out? The 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 stupid mystery thing says <laughs> on what evidence was Hugh arrested um, for polishing Ruby off? Uh, okay. I uh, did want so we're looking for evidence. Well, they did, they must have found the body. They found the body at the art show. Yes. Oh, okay. That's not the That's answer. That's not the evidence. Uh, so uh, his, it was his artwork. There yes. <clears throat> yes. You're yes. like two thirds of the way there. He he initialed her. <laughs> there you go. Because it was his <laughs> art. No. He, no. They found blood traces on him. No. No. They found blood traces on his tools. No. They found blood traces on his artwork. No, but we're gonna we're gonna just stop there. And All right. Well, give me the, give me the second clue. Oh, the second clue. Sorry, we'll just do that. Okay. The officer brought a friend of Ruby's with him. Was Ruby the assistant that helped him turn her into artwork? No. His assistant. Hmm. The officer brought a friend of Ruby's. Oh, friend of Ruby's. I read it again because you heard something must different. Have heard something different. Yeah. Reported, him, <clears throat> reported her missing and recognized her. Because he made her face the exact same kind way. Kind of. He made, the first part. He made a bust of her? <laughs> I, I don't know. All right, let's just do it. Okay. So, basically, it says, investigators must discover that Hughes stabbed Ruby. All right, we did that. Then welded her into a sculpted cube. <laughs> welded her into a sculpted cube. Where her dog sniffed her body out. Oh, her, was the friend her dog? Yeah. Well, so basically, long story short, she was posing nude for her <laughs> for his rivals, sculptors or whatever. Mm -hmm. He found out they had an argument at the studio. He stabbed her to death with a chisel. He was he basically. Uh, How do you stab someone with a chisel? <laughs> oh, you, this, those chisels are uh, sharp. The one of the pieces he was finishing for the art show, he welded her body into the cube. Okay, I'm thinking of like a the chisels we use it. Oh, wood chisel, oh. yes. Nah. Okay, yeah, wood mm. chisel, yes. <clears throat> so he figured it. He welded it shut. Uh, a sympathetic neighbor said that she's been missing. Reported her missing. The they came to her house, found her dog. They brought her dog to the crime scene, which would have been clearly good evidence in the very beginning if mm. you were ever knowing something about. Oh, by the way, our canine unit sniffed something out. Well, anyway, uh, and the dog sniffed out the body from the cube. Cool. So, whatever. All right. It's All a right. cool It's a cool experience. Matt, we'll probably just do yours, and then yeah. we'll, uh, we'll so be done. Give right. me this so I can... Uh... We, we might do one more, but we'll see how long this takes. 
Matt's going to, Eric just kind of, or Matt, you just zoom in on one. I don't know what Eric's doing. You remember that? <laughs> Give us all your code. <laughs> eight, eight, two, one, one. It's my tablet. So, I mean, if you find my tablet randomly, you can unlock it. Good job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you remember how to do everything, Matt? Uh, yeah, why am I getting this disclaimer and stuff for... Let me see. Oh, no. So, hit... The, give me the tablet. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did you do? <laughs> I just put a code in. No, Eric. Oh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> there's So, on Android, there's a button that clicks to do other things. Okay. So, just oh. choose one of those. Yeah, not that one. Yeah. Not, not that Is that one. the one you did, Eric? Right. All right. So basically, you're going to zoom out, find a picture, find some icon that you can clearly identify because each one has one. Let's go with this one. Yep. Eric's cheating. No, I, I was trying to help you out here. <laughs> yep. Which side are you looking at? I am looking at, I think, my side. Does it say the story? Uh, or does it say the Yeah, mystery? the story. Yeah, so read that story and then, well, actually, you probably should read the first side first. No, not necessarily. No, I need to read this so right. I know how to answer the questions right away, right? Well, right. that's fine. Well, anyway, Eric, so, you know, what's interesting about this game is I think it does make a good game to play in the car. Mm -hmm. Although I'm starting to realize that I, I don't I don't know. Like this, I is, will say that uh, once you get a ha into the hang of it and you kind of understand how it plays, you get a little better at asking a lot of questions. Just ask dumb stuff and yeah, then you, get you, good you, answers. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So was uh, he welding cubes? Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> right. So it, it is about asking a lot of questions and narrowing it down. And yeah, some of the stuff is kind of off the wall. So, so it is, you know, asking abundance of questions and kind of narrowing <laughs> a lot of you know different things down. Yeah. You no, know, you got to find the weapon. All right, you found that. All right, now you got to figure out you know maybe why he did it or you know in this case we kind of just had to figure <clears throat> out what the evidence was, which uh, okay. maybe we didn't do. So we ready? Best at. All right, let's do it, Matt. Okay, so <laughs> this is caribou mating season. Oh, uh, the case. There weren't many females living in Caribou, Alaska, so Biff felt really lucky when Eileen, the woman at the bar, fell for his corny come-on lines. She and Biff left the bar together and dove into into a whirlwind romance. They made like a tree and <laughs> got out of there. <laughs> Biff. <laughs> oh goodness a month later biff's oil company sent him on a trip to their headquarters in texas at the end of two weeks biff returned to alaska on the same night his uh his body was found less than a mile from the airfield his head was bashed in eileen eventually confessed to the murder but refused to explain why she did it the mystery. Reconstruct the fateful night. Why did Eileen kill Biff? All right, kind of, kind of say the story again, real quick. Okay. <laughs> yes. Kind of just read everything you. Just okay. Said. So <laughs> right. there weren't many females living in Caribou, Alaska. So All right, no, yeah. So Biff felt really lucky when Eileen, the woman at the bar, fell for his corny come on lines. Bar. She and Biff left the bar together and dove into a whirlwind romance. Dove. Mm -hmm. A month <laughs> later, Biff's oil company sent him on a trip to their headquarters in Texas. Okay. At the end of the two weeks, Biff returned to Alaska. On that same night, his body was found less than a mile from the airfield. His head was bashed in. Eileen eventually confessed to the murders, but refused to explain why she did it. Reconstruct the fateful night. Why did Eileen kill Biff? All right, all right. So uh, he, he was caught skinny dipping with the other female that lived in Alaska. The other one, yeah. <laughs> skinny dipping. No, he was in Dope. Texas. <laughs> he was in Texas. And she was mad at something he did while he he was in Texas. Yeah, but didn't she go with him? No. Was she with him? Or uh, I I don't believe so. I'm waiting for it to load up. I don't believe so. Okay. All right. So she obviously was mad at something he did while he was in Texas. I got an idea. I got an idea. Uh, uh, say that again. Sorry. 
She was mad at something about something he did while he was in Texas. While he was in Texas? Yes. Kind of. His kind boss of. was female and he was cheating on her. No. Well, you want to get bam, did a point. <laughs> <laughs> so uh it was something that um he well, did. Let me say no and yes. Oh there that. is the yes no question. Yeah. <laughs> Because you oh, had two parts sorry, sorry, to it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. His boss was female. No. His boss was a male. I don't know, actually. <laughs> Irre irrelevant. Irrelevant. I, I don't even know why I said no to female. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> so. Irrelevant. Okay, so uh, she was... Um, he did something wrong during the flight. No. She was uh, jealous. Maybe. All right. Uh, he did something wrong after he landed. He was embezzling money from her. Landed where? Oh, landed well, in I mean, Alaska. Like when he died, landed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, landed no. back in their hometown. No, he he did well, something landed in wrong Texas. when he landed in Texas. Probably. Probably. Was he drinking? No. Did it Is have she to psychotic? Do was she psychotic? No. I mean, no. I guess she was. That's kind of well, a... Was it an accident? <laughs> no. No. She did it on person. Uh, not person. Purpose. Purpose. Uh, what, she... Did she bash it in with a baseball bat? Yes. Oh. Did it have barbed wire? <laughs> no. She's Is her not... name Negan? She's, no. she's just okay. Psychotic. All right. Um, was Is... it an accident? You already said that. No. no, I don't know. I didn't, you don't I didn't accidentally my... bash somebody's head I with a baseball bat. It was bat. not an accident. <laughs> you accidentally hit them one time and they go unconscious. <laughs> you don't accidentally turn them to the hamburger meat. Mm. <laughs> um. So was it was was it having to do with um his boss? No, nothing. Okay. Uh, was it financial related? No. Was it adultery related? Yes. Was he sleeping with her sister in a blanket on the beach? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is just one giant yeah. story. Right. Uh, did she know the person that he was with? No. Was it his boss? No. I already said no to the boss. Secretary? Has to do. Secretary? Uh, Coworker? I think it's irrelevant. I don't think oh. any of that has anything to do with anything. Coworker? Th does the person matter? Uh, yeah. Person does matter. All right. Was he, the person related to Her. Eileen? No. Was it related to him? <laughs> That'd be weird. No. Was it was, related was it? to his boss? No. Hmm. Hmm. Does she know that person? Nope. Did he know that person before he got there? Yes. Was it a co client? Was it a client? No. Was it somebody on the plane? No. Was he part of the Mile High Club? No. Irrelevant. <laughs> uh, so, uh, do you meet this person <clears throat> for the first time? Uh, no. Hmm. Was it a uh, ex girlfriend or ex wife? No. Was it a girlfriend? No. Was it another random person at a bar? Was it his wife? No to Tim. Yes to Eric. Oh. Whoa, he bam. was married. He was married. So, yeah, she figured <clears throat> out he was married. Did she find his Facebook profile? <laughs> <laughs> this is before no. Facebook probably. <laughs> no. 93. Um So he went on a business trip. Did uh, did he know that she knew? Mm. Or basically, was his death a surprise to him? It doesn't say that, but I believe it was. Okay. So we were trying to figure out why. <coughs> how she figured out. How she figured Essentially, out. Essentially, I guess, is what you're trying oh, to... Oh, she found lipstick on his collar. No. She, she found plane tickets from the past. No. She found... Uh, some kind of phone number or ma mail. Would you like a clue? Yes. Sure. The sun shines brighter in Texas than in Alaska. 
<laughs> New brighter. England clam chowder. <laughs> Red or white. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so it has to do something with light, perhaps? The sun shines brighter. In Texas. His wife had a tan. <laughs> the... Did his wife contact her? No. Did um he talk about her? No. Oh, I got it. I got it. What? He had he had a tan marking of a woman on top of him because the sun is so bright that it tanned the you know the the silhouette of her body. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give, give us clue number two. Yeah. Clue, number, clue number two. Uh, Eileen noticed something about one of Biff's lines, and it wasn't a come on. Come on. About one of his lines? Mm-hmm. His corny lines? He, yeah, he but, told a dad no. joke. He has dad, He has kids. <laughs> no. Huh. Well, it could be his line, like, as wrinkles, or... He used the line before? Uh no, that's not what it's talking about. It's not talking about his pickup lines. Uh, it is, you know, it it's saying Eileen noticed something about one of Biff's lines, and it wasn't a come on. Hmm. Oh, basically, he probably he told her that he loved her by mistake. No. <laughs> well, because if it's like a new relationship, and you mm. go into that, like it's almost second nature. You're like, whoa. Oh. Who are you hmm. saying this to on the regular? Mm -hmm. Did he uh, did he say something that uh, uh, led her led her to believe that he was married? No, it's not something he said. One of his lines. Did, hmm. Does she see something on oh, him? He said her name. Did he, did he no. had his wedding oh, ring? Oh God! On. Wait, really? He had his wedding ring <clears throat> on. Yes. No. She found his wedding. Oh, ring? there. That's why. He she's seen that he he went to Texas oh. and he has a wedding ring on. <laughs> and a, yeah, he's seen the lines of his wedding ring. There you go. He got a tan. Bam. Yep. He is, still had it, the, he still had the line from his ring. Is that? Yeah, that's that's what it is. Oh, so yeah. it's solved. Yes. Oh wow. Bam. So what's the uh, what's the solve like thing say? Eight minutes. That is no if you solved. No, oh, it's well, just you're like saying, the investigators okay, gotcha. need to find out what. Oh, the investigators must discover that when Eileen noticed the tan line around Biff's ring finger, she realized that he was married, a married man, and killed him. Mm. I mean, I guess. <clears throat> I guess like you know what's interesting about all these stories? Like that these really people matter. are knee jerk reaction killing people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> the, yeah. But what happens if he just had some kind of cool, like, what happens if it was like work related and he had to have something on his arm that kept his sleeve up? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the ring coat jacket things. No, yeah, oh, I know. It's. These people are very... They're nuts. They're all crazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> they don't need to be in society. <clears throat> you know, ironically, though, this is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I actually... It, it is vague. Oh, yeah. Like, all of it's pretty vague. It's so vague. And you have to... You have to uncover so much. Right. And that's why I said it, it, it's really about knowing the different types of kind of questions to ask yeah. in order to kind of narrow it down as much as possible because yeah. it's really vague and wide and and you have to like pinpoint it right we should totally do this one again mm -hmm. i thought that was pretty fun actually as a matter of fact we'll allot a little bit more time one day or maybe we'll do a bonus episode where we just do a bunch of these mm -hmm. it's kind of neat i don't know if you and like these are the easy ones <laughs> oh, <come> on. <laughs> they get really hard yeah uh Anyway, uh, if you like this, please let us know because I like to have people say if they like what we're doing. Uh, some people tell us on Facebook, uh, but it is neat to get you know messages on Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, anywhere that we have contact information. Just tell us what you think of these type of segments where we're actually playing games live on the show. Uh, this was a little bit different than the other ones because all the other ones have been is like make up like some kind of product placement style right. thing mm -hmm. or whatever. Or like a story or whatever. This is kind of neat. This, this is actually perfect for the podcast. I just it would now we're calibrated. Yeah. So I think right. next time it'd be a little bit cooler to listen to maybe. But I'm sure people at home were like, "No, ask him this. No, ask him this." <laughs> right. And then like you hear the story, you're like what? 
<laughs> none of what I was thinking actually matters either. Mm. So interesting. But uh, anyway, we're going to wrap this episode up. So 